Oh, what, what's I... that? So that's yeah. made of dental putty. That's what I oh, used to put between my teeth. Oh, that keeps your teeth apart, yeah. But you know the story behind that with the pen end. I did it and went, that is ridiculous. It feels too open. Threw it in the bin. Never tell anyone about that. <laughs> right? My teeth were coming together. As soon as I experienced the feeling of the teeth staying apart, I rejected it. Six months. Then six months later, try it again. This must work. Pen end between the teeth. No, nope, that feels ridiculous. Way too open. Can't possibly work. In the bin. Never tell anyone you did that. Do you get what I'm saying? I've got an issue with my teeth being closed, but as soon as I experienced the feeling of it being open, I've gone, that can't be right. Threw it in the bin and forgot about it for six months. Talk about cognitive dissonance. Absolutely. There is no way that that has anything to do with playing. Absolutely nothing. It wasn't until 18 months where I've gone, I have to go with it because whilst it feels different, it's got to be right because otherwise I'm just doing the same thing. I'm getting nowhere. And as soon as I made the decision to embrace it, that was when the blooming first coffee moment happened. I'm just going to sit here until something breaks, until something lets go. This is 18 months training myself to do it. Pick up. And so I used the trombone. No problem with trombone. I'd never played it before. What does it feel like? Okay, horn down, pick up trumpet, copy feeling. No note, air scratch, whatever. Feels insane. I don't care that it feels insane, it must be right. There's the line. There's the line that I should have all over every freaking page of the course. I don't care if it feels insane, it must be right. I'm not sure that it's right because I've got no one telling me it's right. But based on my understanding from my research, it must be right. Right? And I said to my missus at the time, I might not be leaving this room for a month. <laughs> you know? And it was back onto trombone. There it is. Trumpet. <laughs> Feels ridiculous. Trombone. Trumpet. Trombone, even for 20, you know, imagine doing that for 10 minutes and keeping your head about you. Pretty hard to do, but when you get to wit's end, after years of fighting, going, I must make a change. I can reject it again, and I'll be back in another freaking six months. I'm fed up. Now is the time. Sit there. Trombone. Trumpet. Trombone. Trumpet feels ridiculous. I don't care. The physics books, the trumpet, the lips of the, uh, you know, the so the lips of the vocal cords of the instrument, lead with the air, all this sort of stuff. Let the air blow the chops into shape, blah, 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 blah. All these different lines over years from everywhere. The understanding of the physics, the that, the that, the that, the that, the this, oh, oh, oh. All of that must this must do it on its own. I've got to let go of control. Trombone, trumpet. It would have been within half an hour, 27, 28 minutes, where I'm just letting go, going, I don't care how long this is going to take. Trombone. Ugh. Trumpet. I'm just going to let go. Breath. Try not to swallow the pen end. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because I'm biting on it. Feels yeah. weird, right? And then relax. Ah! And this note just freaking exploded out of the horn. Put the horn down, take the thing out, go and put the kettle on, absorb just what happened. It felt ridiculous, yet the freest note. I'd ever played. The lips just went, Doom. the air was oscillating. The lip was going, oh, cool. This is what it had felt so good, so free, so easy. 
there it is. I knew it must be possible. I couldn't have had anyone tell me it, but I knew it must be possible because in my mind I was so convinced. And all I could play was a low C. As soon as I went to a low D, what happened? Uh, so, oh, turned into, uh, because it felt weird. I was using muscles in a different way. I can't expect to play my entire range. I'm still gigging at night. I'm doing TV shows and theatre shows, yet I'm sitting at home in the day with freaking the reason that I've got this is because I went through too many pen ends. I was chewing through. I was buying packets of biros and chewing, chewing on the end of them. So I thought, this is ridiculous. So I went and bought two bits of dental compound putty and mixed them together and put these in the lid of the pen, got a Stanley knife and cut them, the little bullet sort of thing. They're in the first book called The Wind Aid, and I never really went into it, right? And that's it. Right. I've way... never seen you have reference to that, but I'm like, I don't think he's really got these. <laughs> Had them for years. I've still got the blue piece of foam and the Stanley knife that I was using to make them, and this is 17, 18 years ago. And it's as important now as what it was then. I don't need them now. And I don't get people to use them now because what do I do? Ah, oh, 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 recognize the jaw doesn't have to come up. Ah, oh, 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 you, you can change this without the jaw coming up. Yeah. Who lip Ku KMT in two? We're achieving the same thing. And an awareness of the jaw coming up. And you go, no, I don't want to do that. It's the belief in the sensation and the logic behind the science that we surrender to to make change. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Right? And if you don't have the belief in it, there's anxiety. If you've got belief, there's calm. Simple as that. Surrender to the process. And at the moment, you can tell that your wiring is still triggering anxiety, not calmness. Because on a deep level, deep the depth of your subconscious hasn't surrendered to it yet. We're close and we're consciously manufacturing it and reinforce well starting not reinforcing, but starting to let this thing realize there's another way of doing things, but it's not really opened its deep doors yet. But when you really believe it and you really surrender to it and stop trying to play because trying to play instantly puts us on the old road and we can keep doing that. You could see how your brain was fighting 10th of March, 103 in the second video. You could see how your belief system and the sensation was just freaking you out. Your reaction was so full on, where for me, I was just sitting there going, this must work, it must work. There's the difference in emotion, difference in psychology. This is all denying it, can't be right, can't be right, can't be right. I'm like, I'm not getting any result. And I'm sitting there going, it's gotta be right. I don't care how long this is gonna take. I know it's right. Trombone, trumpet, no sound, feels ridiculous. I don't care, it must work. And when that first note spoke, that sensation of the lip responding sympathetically, I didn't play the note. I did not do anything. I did nothing as far as playing goes. Sure, I didn't fall off my chair. I'm holding my instrument. All I did was that and let the lips respond to the airflow. And that minute where they went and the, this is the first time in my life, Jules, and I've been playing for, what, 20 years? To have a note not be this. And have it do this. I'm not playing the thing. It's a whole different ball game. So hard to let go of. That's why you've got to have the belief. Right? It's full on. People don't get how deep this is. People do not understand how deep it is. 
it's not just doing a new exercise with your current wiring. It's creating a new pathway, a new sensation, a new belief based on a new psychology. And people want to, like the, in fact, I might, I might, I won't have you, you in it. I'll just cut my half. I think I'm going to put this as the answer to the, the guy on the forum this morning. Because if this doesn't put him in the right psychology, nothing will. I'm sitting at home with a thing between my teeth, playing trombone to improve my, learning trombone to change my trumpet playing. <laughs> And then I forget about it. I've got to practice. I've got a gig tonight. I can't try and take this onto a gig. I'll get sacked. Keep doing what I've been doing, but learn new sensations. Have a new psychology. And over time, it will become part of who you are. And we're right there because you can feel your reaction going to the negative. And I'm trying to teach you to sit there. And as soon as I suggest something, Mm, oh, cool. That's the reaction that I want to have. Make it a reality based on belief. That's deep wiring change, all based on the belief. And you've experienced it. So all you're trying to do is build the on-ramp. You just want it to happen every time without the anxiety kicking in. But at the moment, when we've got the suggestion because we haven't spoken about this before. This is the first time we've got to this level. The minute I have the suggestion, it instantly goes to that wiring. But you can feel it. Thank God you can feel it. You know that you're going that way. The chaos kicks in, the feeling of the anxiety. How cool is it that you can you hummed a note and you could visualise and feel that versus what how you would normally react? That's insanity. How cool is that? Right? So all we're trying to do is make the calm the new reaction. Because you can. You've just got to believe it and repeat it. So that's what it feels like to play. And eventually it might take five minutes. Right? It might take five minutes, 10 minutes, 28 minutes, but it'll get to the point where your mental shift will happen. It will not matter what the demand is it won't matter what the demand is because all you'll do is go oh, i can do that or i can't do it play flight of the bumblebee oh i can't really do it i'll have a crack at it i don't care if i completely well i think it starts on the whatever i've never played it play play uh... <laughs> Play MacArthur Park. I don't know whether I can. We'll see. <laughs> oh, well, it turns out that I can. And I haven't been sitting here playing. I know how to do it. I know what not to do. I'm playing there going, it might work or it might not. And it worked. Oh, who cares? If I had to do it on a recording session or as I was standing in front of 2,000 people and you were panicking about doing it, do you reckon it would work? No freaking way. If you don't care and you can just do that, that's a walk in the park. You're doing it. Why? Because you love it. You're not threatened by it. There is no joy. Uh, there's, there's joy in playing it. You're sharing. You're not worried about, oh, can I play this or not? Maynard never gave a rat's of Maurice Andre, Rafael Mendez didn't give a rat's about whether it would work or not. He's doing the video walking around, um, you know, uh, you know how he's talking and he does that like as a bumblebee. <laughs> That's <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Right? So, uh, yeah, the whole psychology's got to change. All right? I could be 10 times the player I was when I was in Melbourne in 12 months. I'd be so far beyond what I was as a player. 
on what I've learned since I've moved up here. Wow. And I've got no desire to do it. I don't care. I, I've got, there's nothing in, because I love them, but I love hearing other people do it. I don't get that joy of, like I used to, of getting up and playing. I like being part of, for my mates, hanging with my buddies and playing cool music. Um, but even then, uh, this, this is what it's all about for me. I've been there, done that. But we can make a really, really big difference with a um, change in psychology. Recognise your reaction. Lose the emotion. Accept reality. Change your reality. Not fight and flight. There's no chance that it's not going to work. Reject it. I am done with it. So you can feel the things that you don't like and yeah. then you can compare it to what you did yesterday to what you did like and then you, then you recall that. You bring it in. What can I let go of? Something's engaging that you need to let go of. What do you like? What don't you like? Make the change. Breathe. 